No, it's your watch. Slick fell in make-believe love on Titanic, but director James Cameron may have fallen for real. Hollywood has been buzzing for a week now about the apparent marital breakup between Cameron and his wife, Linda Hamilton. Now we have all the latest details about their separation in our Entertainment Tonight cover story. For James Cameron and Linda Hamilton, the Oscars should have been a very happy night. But less than a month later, he was moving his belongings out of their Malibu home. He uh, moved back into his other house in Malibu, just down the road. He has a heart. I actually have a heart. <laughs> Married since last July, but with a five-year-old daughter, the couple seemed very much in love, at least at the parade of award shows honoring Titanic. I'd like to thank uh, my beautiful daughter Josephine and my beautiful wife Linda. They make me want to be a better man, and that makes me a better director. When it was her turn to win at the Blockbuster Awards, Linda returned the compliment. I want to share this with my husband, who is the sexiest man alive. So did you hear what uh, my lovely Linda said about me earlier? Susie Amos, who played Gloria Stewart's granddaughter in Titanic, is reportedly involved in this triangle. A December 1997 Esquire magazine article said Cameron and Hamilton broke up during the filming of Titanic, and the director courted the Titanic actress. There was no question, based on conversations I've had with people on the set in Rosarita Beach, that they had an incredibly close friendship relationship on the set of Titanic. Gossip columnists see a pattern here. Since Hamilton and Cameron's romance began in 1991, while he was directing her in Terminator 2. It's a Jim Cameron film. <laughs> when they got together during the making of Terminator 2, he was still married to director Catherine Bigelow, who was his third wife. Hamilton says before marrying him, she turned down at least one very romantic proposal. The helicopter came and picked us up and took us to the yacht, <laughs> which took us to Catalina, where he had rented out the entire ballroom of that beautiful casino in a ballroom that had a thousand candlelights and just him and I. And then I said no. Now with Cameron's estimated hundred million dollar Titanic take, the question is how much this short marriage is worth? Divorce lawyer Raoul Felder says if there is no prenuptial agreement, the stakes could be incredibly high. And you're going to see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars in that pot, and she's going to say I want half of it. As this story swirls in Hollywood's gossip mill, everybody seems to be talking about it. Except that is James Cameron and Linda Hamilton. Uh, either it's their way of saying that we collectively have no business knowing their personal lives, which is fair, or there's nothing to deny. Though we tried to contact Susie Amos on the breakup of James and Linda, as of our deadline, our calls had not been returned.